Hey YouTube, Pyro Dad 1236 outside the Pyro Cave. We are at Kellner's Fireworks demo open shoot, and I have the absolute pleasure of being in the presence of the amazing rocket maker, Mr. Tom Rebenclau. And Tom has agreed to let us take a look at his amazing rockets and uh, share his awesome knowledge with this, us, this, man. These, these, I'm gonna check two of these, I'm gonna shoot these tonight. There's a, a formula I found in my, my notes that's old, mm -hmm. that I used at one point. I don't even remember what it's gonna do. We're gonna find out tonight. Hey, sounds better than a surprise. Those are two that we're gonna shoot. One I tried with 7% moisture when I was pumped. There's comets in here, hey, as you can see. Oh, okay. You can see the comets. Yep. Now, if you're gonna put three rows of comets in there, you don't, you, you, you don't, Put one and then index it over half a comet and put the other one and then index that back because then you have the top and bottom row sitting over each other. You right, can see so these you are do stacked here, here, here. Yeah, so they're stacked, okay. they're stacked, so each one has its own space in the sky. So there's like 27 comets in there. And we'll see what the formula does. I, it's been so long since I've uh, tried that. I have, it's going to be a surprise. Feel the weight of that, Tom. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is awesome. This is some of Tom's amazing work. The reason it's pasted is because this is a tail, okay. and you don't want to burn off the string, so it's pasted so that it protects the string from the fire. Nice. This one here, is that the bottom That's shot? That's bottom shot, top shot, bottom shot. Okay guys, I'm going to end this video right here because I'm going to go and I'm going to play. Hey YouTube, oh, yes, we did. Pyro Dad 1236, again outside the Pyro Cave, here with Tom Rebenclau, and this is some of Tom's rocket um, some of his tooling that he uses to make his rockets. Um, we have the sleeve here. That shaft is called, is that it called a spindle? Is that what that shaft yes. is called? Okay. And this is a rammer right here, correct? Yep. Okay. All of these are rammers, the correct? That's correct, except the last one is a trimmer. Okay. And the last one there is a trimmer, and that's one of the one-pound rocket motors that he uses. And this is actually a cross-section of how it looks. You can see the increments, the increments of where the where the, the, the motor was pressed. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, guys. Excellent. We'll catch up with you in the next video. Okay, this is true. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just because I'm slightly nuts, I have a setup on my lathe where I can actually grind the OD and the cap plug so they're exact size. I want the OD so they fit like that inside the head and they just fit nice. That's taking a step forever. That's, well, that's so you can fit one it's more not necessary, plug. but it means right. I can get one extra cap plug. No, in. it's instead of 25, it's I get 26. Necessary. <laughs> but, I mean, that's just a show and tell. That would be a double ring or a double spiral, depending on which you do. They're going to fall out, pull it out, they all fall. Yeah, we don't want that. Well, I mean, they can always be put back. No, I know. I still can't believe this guy is standing in front of me. I really am. You know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? First of all, first time I do that. Yeah, here's a four cross head hanging. But I had a feeling he was going to be out. Here's one of the four cross head hangs, and I have a smaller version. I watched him shoot here on. YouTube. Yeah. Show you how it's done. Well, we'll to your left. Uh, we're going to do the uh, first set of rockets. Whenever you're ready, gentlemen. Okay, homemade rockets by Tom. Badass.
You need better glass. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's nice time. Nice. <laughs> wow. He's not going to be happy with that one. Wow, that delay is so long on that. He's not going to be happy with that one. Too much draws. They smell right. <laughs> That's pretty color. Nice. That one had draws. Still falling has draws. Came all the way to the ground almost. Still falling. What happened? I think the second red was much better than the first red. That that was the two that was the test red. Yeah, the second one was better. So that's probably the first purple one, that violet. That's the red gum. That's probably the red gum one. If this one is violet also. Oh wow. That was that. That was badass. Which day do you want to go to the recital and how many tickets do we need to get them tomorrow? What day is it? Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, she's definitely dancing Sunday. So how many on Sunday? Sunday. May 22nd, right? All right. Well, then we Is that want, right? We, yeah, we want four. Four. We want four. Okay. <coughs> no, we'll just do one day if that's it. Well, I'll go both days. Okay. She's dancing both days. Okay. You want to talk to her? I'll go both days. Okay. Beautiful.
Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> that was nice. Somebody else appreciated that one too. <clears throat> Rocket Master, that's it. Fat ass. Do that one again. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, that was the best bottom shot. Hey, thanks for Awesome job, Tom. You are the man. Let's